Hi folks, I thought I'd do a quick video on we uh, well on these laptops. Um, how to get them to boot from a USB stick? If you're interested for the beginners, uh, it is a Intel Core i7 with eight gig of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and it's an Acer Aspira V15. The other code number is V3-574-78NF. The idea is this, we've got a bunch of these to do for our network and we're downgrading them from Windows 10 to Windows 7 64 bit. And I know you're saying why you're doing that, because some of the software running on it will not run on the Windows 10. At the moment it's quite old and they've specified that they want this to run. So I'm just doing my job. Um, the idea to get these running from the USB stick is you switch it on, which is of course feasible, F2. But on find these, on the first boot up, they tend to switch themselves off again. Just the first boot up. Why? I do not know. So, power on again. And then F2. Takes us to the BIOS screen. In the BIOS screen, you want to make your way across to the boot option. And in this one, on the UEFI, press the Enter key. And change it to legacy press enter it'll say okay recommend execute the windows 8 to the version above you yeah, 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 agree yes okay nothing will happen until you reboot the system agree to that once that happens then you then make your way to exit okay and of course exit saving changes so press enter and then yes which is already to go so press enter again and it should automatically boot it directly from the USB stick like I said the idea is to downgrade which I know is silly but hey so yes we are there you go straight into the USB stick this is um, <clears throat> Windows 7 64 bit which I've downloaded in a previous video how to do this use an OSI file ISO file by well, one of them anyway <clears throat> and then what we'll do then I'll just take you through the process of deleting the partitions uh, so I'll get back to you in a sec okay ready to load windows so then we click down on the English United States of course if you live in England and we're changing that to United Kingdom and then we're going to next install now okay and it should take us to a license agreement screen which it does agrees the license next and then of course we're not going to upgrade we're going to custom advanced now we're going to delete all these partitions because when we do eventually upgrade to Windows 10 what we're doing is a big image of Windows 10 with everything on it which will be the CAD program office of course and um, our virus checker and anything else we require flash players a lot so we don't need any of these partitions so you click on it and then go to drive options advanced uh, come on there we go delete this will delete the partition okay and then the next one up delete you'll see if the partition is because it will highlight red on the delete okay can you see that so we delete again and then Partition 1, delete, and it should just leave us one partition, which has not been allocated yet. So you don't have to do anything else. You have to format it, just go next, and it does it all automatically for you. Pretty straightforward. Quite easy. And that's it, really. Copy Windows files, it'll get to 100%, and then it'll start expanding Windows. That'll get to 100%, and then complete installation. When it reboots, just take the stick out. So you'll see the reboot screen, just remove the USB stick. Okay, <clears throat> hope this is helpful for somebody. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be fantastic. And not watching, but watching. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Uh, if not, thumbs up or even leave a comment. Um, no stocky comments, please, because I know we're downgrading, downgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 7, but there's a reason for it. Okay, thanks very much for watching again. Bye.